One of rap's most beloved stars is finally releasing a new album that takes the genre in a whole new direction. Outkast's Andre 3000 is releasing his first album in 17 years, but it is not what you might expect. His debut solo album, New Blue Sun, centers around woodwinds. The rapper and songwriter plays flute throughout the album along with other instrumentalists. Oh, you know what? This is a beautiful, fascinating experiment in the. No! the greatest rappers of all time. We, we have been waiting 17 years for this mother to release a new album. Okay. And it's all flute. I'm going to kill somebody. Okay. This is how you know the white people are winning. Y'all done turned Andre 3000 into Jeff Roto. It's a fair point, Leslie, but I'm sorry, I think this is brave. Yeah, it's brave, because if you play that shit in the hood, you're going to get your ass beat. Okay. So, you know what? No. no. Don't listen to Leslie Andrew 3000. Andre! 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 Yeah, Andre, sorry. Sorry. Yes. Andre 3000. Although, this is more of an Andrew 3000 project. <laughs> Artists have to evolve as they age. You can't be rapping into your 50s. There are only so many words that rhyme with sciatica. That he can't involve. Okay. I'm not saying that. You don't always have to stay in your lane, but try not to drive completely off the road into a damn flute star. No. <laughs> I think it's great. He's reaching a new audience. You know, a rapper released an instrumental album, and finally, I can understand the lyrics. What? <laughs> Man, you crazy. A flute can only go so hard. It's not like somebody saying, yo, be quiet, be quiet. The flute is about to come on. That's my shit. <laughs> A flute can still slap. slap. Right? Yes, slap. a flute can slap. slap. A flute can slap. Oh my God. A flute can slap. <laughs> Personally, I can't wait for that moment when a Tesla pulls up next to me, blasting this album at a moderate volume. You know, all treble, no bass. The women who don't get chose, in results. I mean, as a result, they get upset with themselves in the world. I've been hooking up and dudes are not working properly. Y'all done ate all that fucking McDonald's and all that shit. You ain't drinking water. You're not fucking taking care of yourself. And that's your, that's like one of your prized possessions. Damn. And they get mad at us when you don't work. Don't get mad at me. That's your department. So take care of your dick. I really believe that's a lot of problems with these, with these um, podcast dudes and these passport bros. Y'all don't know how to fuck a woman correctly. I can't deny that America has given everyone who has come opportunity. But to the blacks who built this, I suggest to you, miss, you are not qualified to speak for us. You are not qualified to speak for us. You are only qualified to represent yourself and your opinion. But really, those of us who have suffered this, we know what we're talking about. Shall I begin? Look, I am sick and tired of these black folks that get accepted into Hollywood and try to pretend like they some sort of representation of all black people in the world because you get put on the television screen. Leslie Jones, you don't represent black people. For all black people, you don't even represent black women the way you're supposed to. And that second clip clearly shows that you are a masculine woman and you'd rather take some dick than earn some dick. Sitting there talking bad about men's sexual drive in general, saying that they need to step their game up. Not even gonna consider looking in the mirror and realizing to yourself, maybe that the man that you are talking to can't keep it up because they gotta deal with a woman like you. I'm not even talking about your looks, I'm talking about your personality. You're not my type, but I know there's some men out there that might love you for who you truly are. But it's all gonna get drowned away with your bad attitude. Now to go back to my first topic that offended me to the highest core. How dare you sit there and disrespect Andre 3000 
the true musician for the true musician that he is we already know he can rap up 16 bars okay the man is is a true master musician nobody went after prince for learning instruments okay the man went out of his way and learned a flute and took his time off and picked up an instrument as a matter of fact the flute itself the sounds and winds can help people mentally mentally with happiness anxiety not to mention it's a bigger check for him to play the flute than it is for him to rap considering that that these instruments that the instrument of the flute that he's using can be sampled for generations to come this instrumental album could possibly last longer than any outcast album and it it could be used by anybody for anything it's far more resourceful than him rapping on a track so and not, not to mention we don't even have enough black people playing instruments in the game anyway we, we, i mean he's an amazing artist and there's anticipation for him to rap but we're not missing out on other rappers out here in this industry and he's, he's way more inspirational for these young kids out here in the world picking up an instrument and, and, and learning chords and composition and such that could lead to scholarships and, and, and being a part of orchestras than just being merely a rapper he could you possibly consider to the fact that he just he, he he want to be inspirational to other people to be a creative you're limitless in your creation musically and sonically when you are using an instrument more than just your voice and trying to catch a beat and make certain words rhyme but you wouldn't understand that because your vision is clouded it's like you've got you've got blinders on your eyesight you need to reevaluate yourself this is my rant, man. This is Jay Leno, man. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if I went off the rocker on her one too many times, if I was too offensive. Either way, hit me up.